I Have a Dream, a famous quote by Martin Luther King Jr. can relate to the life of Thomas Gage. Gage, much like Martin Luther King Jr., was a very ambitious leader with the goal to win the Revolutionary War. Thomas Gage was a strong leader because he was a co-commander in the Battle of Bunker Hill, the governor of Massachusetts, and a general in Lexington and Concord. Thomas Gage played an influential part in the Battle of Bunker Hill. In the battle, Gage ordered 2,000 men to attack. By the time of the first retreat, 96 men lay dead. During the battle, Gage had to co-command with William Howe, another British general. The second attack was Dorchester Heights. Gage participated in planning the attack. Unfortunately, the colonists knew of Gage's plan. In the final attack, Gage caused the colonists to retreat, but it was due to low ammunition on the colonists' side. Gage's original plan was to occupy the Charleston Peninsula. In addition, he wanted possession of Bunker Hill and Breeds Hill. Thomas Gage is not well known or credited for his position as governor of Massachusetts. Gage was assigned as governor by King George III. The king assigned Gage to enforce the Coercive Acts, also known as the Intolerable Acts. He was also assigned to prevent another act like the Boston Tea Party. Gage's official title was Military Governor-in-Chief. Gage was the governor for only one year, from 1774 to 1775, following the Boston Tea Party. Gage was removed from his position as military governor-in-chief after he failed to prevent the rebellion of the colonists. Thomas Gage's most well-known involvement was his participation in Lexington and Concord. The reason Gage was aware of rebellious actions in Concord was due to British spy Benjamin Church. Church informed Gage about the ammunition in Concord, the location of Sam Adams in Concord, and continued to inform Gage about the activities of colonists after the war. Gage went to Concord to arrest Sam Adams for his activity in Sons of Liberty and other rebellious acts. Gage also knew that in Concord there was colonists' military training. Once Gage decided that he had to go to Concord to arrest Sam Adams, he ordered a march to Concord. He also ordered his men to silence because the element of surprise was critical. Gage did not want to attract the attention of colonist spies. Thomas Gage was a powerful leader because he was a co-commander in the Battle of Bunker Hill, served a term as governor of Massachusetts, and was general of Lexington and Concord. Gage never successfully accomplished his dream of winning the Revolutionary War, but that made him no less of a legendary leader.